Good morning, everyone. I just thought maybe I'd check in and let you guys know what I'm up to this week. Um, right now, I'm waiting to go inside of my doctor's appointment. So while I'm waiting, I thought maybe I'd chat with you all and let you all know where my mind is at the week before school begins. I am a little bit excited. At first I was nervous, um, but I tend to get the jitters before every semester I've noticed. So that's normal. Even with my prereqs, I got jitters. So I think that's just normal for me. Um, being nervous about the unknown, not quite sure what to expect, what is coming. So, and then also, I don't know if I have said this before, I think I'm also really like just traumatized from LPN school. So, this is different. This is not LPN school. This is RN, this, this is an RN program and it's just really different. Even the RN program that I entered before I got sick was different. Um, but this is different in a good way. There are things that I go through at the school and a lot of it has to do with the fact that they are starting a lot of new things. Um, they're rolling out a lot of new changes with the school, even all the way down to their uniform color for nursing. So unfortunately, we, you know, sometimes the ball is dropped and we have to go through it. But it's for me, it's nothing like what I've gone through before so I feel like that's good and it's manageable so I'm a little excited I'm a little excited I have I haven't even been counting down but I have a few more days today is Tuesday so I have six days left of this vacation um, I think this weekend I will be going to the east coast of Florida to get a break and just to take a little road trip, a family road trip. This will be our last trip as a family this summer. So at first I was like, mm, do I really want to go the weekend before? But now I'm kind of looking forward to riding. So I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, so I just wanted to check in with you all and start this vlog off by letting you all know where my mind is at. So I know I'm going to need more nursing content. I'm going to try my best, my very best to incorporate that because that's what this channel is all about. This channel is about lifestyle, my lifestyle, motherhood, and nursing. So I'll definitely be giving you a little bit more, even if it's how do I study and keep up with social media, or even if it's how do I study, how do I go through nursing school and take care of the household, you know, if it's those type of blogs. So I am just ready to give you guys more of me and more content. So be on the lookout for that. However, I have a new list of things that are needed for nursing school. I, I really feel like my last vlog, um, the what's in my nursing school backpack was so whack. The vlog that I did was so whack. It was just not everything that is really 
that I really needed. Um, but I have a lot of new ideas and I can't wait to share them with you all. I have a top 10, a list of top 10 things that you definitely need for nursing school. I feel like with me going into my last year, my last two semesters, I can actually make this list and it be legit, it be, it be the right amount of things that you really need. Um, these are things that really helped me out throughout my first year and they're going to help me out throughout my second year. So I can't wait to share them with you. I'm not gonna share them now because I'm going to go inside the doctor. Look at this, I'm just breaking out. Y'all, I don't know what's going on. So I tried that, um, I'm skipping subjects, but to my skin, I tried that that wash that I told y'all I bought. I don't know. I I don't know. I'm going to continue to use it and see. I know that sometimes when you use acne products or specific acne washes, sometimes what happens is you tend to break out first because it's like pulling all of those impurities and whatever else your skin is storing in there, it's pulling it out. So you're going to break out and then afterwards comes the nice glowing skin. Or it could just be that my hormones is just really acting up right now. I have not started my cycle yet. And I, I hope it don't start while I'm here because I don't think I have anything. TMI, I know, but oh god, y'all. I hope it don't start while I'm here. That would be disastrous. But anyway, I haven't started my cycle yet. And I think it's supposed to start today or yesterday. So I'm waiting on that to come. But in the meantime, it's like Mother Nature is just really she's really taking her toll on my skin and it's not like i'm not drinking enough water i'm drinking all of the water that i can i'm drinking water i've been paying attention to what i'm eating now i'm wondering is it the red meat that's breaking me out you know just certain things that you eat can really break you out and you just have no idea so now i'm, I'm just trying to figure out what changes need to be made so I'm struggling my skin is really not doing what it's supposed to do right now but anyway I'm just blabbering and jumping from subject to subject at this point so I will see you all later trying to meal plan and try to figure out what I will be eating. I feel like, oh, sorry. <laughs> I feel like the lighting is kind of weird. I don't know if it's this light, maybe. Anyway, I'm trying to meal plan right now. Probably going to make some crepes with strawberries and bananas and sausage and maybe like two or three eggs. Remember, I'm trying to get that protein. But, and then I was like, maybe I should make some tacos out of this. My mom's calling y'all, hold on. Okay. I'm gonna do turkey, maybe like some turkey tacos. This is turkey meat with lettuce wrap 
instead of the regular wrap. And okay, so now that I know what I'm gonna cook for dinner. a very very late breakfast I got everything that I was supposed to get done done today well no no I didn't I'm going to get everything that I have to get done done today <laughs> I'm losing my mind I have to eat breakfast because this is I'm out of control right now but I had a very good checkup with my hematologist. Um, I will be seeing him in six months. I'm very happy, very, very, guys, I am very happy with where my levels are right now. My hemoglobin is top tier, okay? My hemoglobin has never been this high, okay? I'm just really happy. I'm very happy. I'm going into my nursing semester, my last year, happy and healthy and at peace. I'm, I'm at peace. Like I really am today. I just feel like this overwhelming amount of joy and peace. I love that for me. Maybe because I got a good checkup and good news from my doctor. Maybe it's because of that. I'm just glad that I don't have to deal with blood transfusions, iron therapy, and all of that, so. But he did make a great point. Um, apparently, he knows someone that was 35 and ended up with like breast cancer. So he was like, make sure you're checking, you're doing your breast exams very often. And I'm, look at me feeling on the breast. But, and I, I feel him on that. That was very eye-opening. And he said around there, because I go to a cancer center, he said that around there, they see a lot of younger cases. And I just think that with our conversation, it all boils down to dieting and what we put in our bodies. I definitely believe in that. Um, Guys, I really want to make a change. I really do. Even down to what I was drinking as far as alcohol was concerned, I'm starting to even pay attention to that. If I'm going to do that, at least drink some red wine or something. So I went back to my red wine phase. I don't think it's a phase. I think that that's what I'm going to stick with, but I have not had Prosecco. Actually, I lied. I've had Prosecco recently um, for my best friend's wedding. But before that, on a regular basis, I've been just sticking with a nice, and when I say glass, I've been pouring it like that much. Nice, small glass of red wine. And I'm fine, totally fine. I'm totally fine with it. And, what else? Major, like minor changes here and there, you know? So I just, even the peanut butter that I got, the ingredients on this peanut butter is dry roasted peanuts and palm oil. That's it, two ingredients. When you look on the other peanut butter jars, they have all types of stuff in there. And I'm like, 
this is peanut butter. Why do you need all of that other stuff in there? Just have a nice oil and the peanuts, right? So I don't know if this is very healthy, but I will tell you this, there's no added sugars. That's great. And the protein is seven grams. When I look on the other jars like Jif and other brands, the protein is not even that high and there's like other additives in it plus added sugar. And I just do not want that for us anymore. I don't, I don't want that for us. So I've been really trying to make some changes here. Today is Taco Tuesday. So I will do tacos with turkey meat and lettuce so that we can get more vegetables in our diet, be creative. I'm going to make it colorful with red onions, bell pepper, and Mike brought home an avocado, but I don't think that is ready. I'm not sure. So, well, he brought home two. They're huge, right? So, I'm just, I'm just really starting to pay attention to what I'm putting in my body. I am 35, I'm not getting any younger. And I think now is the time for me to really buckle down and start paying attention to what I do with my body. And that is one of the reasons why I'm watching the labels now and I'm starting to work out more because if you start now, you don't have to worry about later, the issues that come later or that may or may not come later. So that's what I'm on right now. But I do need to pack my mother's box so that she can ship it to UK. So I'm about to do that now. Sick of 
Good morning, y'all. Don't pay attention to that, whatever. Anyway, you know I'm just myself on this channel. Um, I am about to take Sincere to the doctor because he keeps running a fever. I mean, I knew this was going to happen. That's why I'm wanting him to start school a little bit earlier than I do because I knew he was going to get sick as soon as he goes back to school. So I'm going to take him to the doctor because he has this horrible chest cold, this cough. And even though I know how to assess children and people, I still want his doctor to see him. And I also kind of low key want him to get tested to see what exactly does he have. It, could it be strep throat? Could it be RSV? It could be anything. So I will say for the most part, when you have a child, it's so unpredictable because you think you know exactly what's going on. And then every time they get sick or something happens, it's always different. I will say that every single time since has gotten sick, something different has happened. So no, I don't know my child. I don't because there's no telling what's going to pop up. There's always a surprise with him. I know him, but there's always a surprise. Um, so that's what is on the agenda. Mike is going to go out of town instead of us riding with him because Sincere is sick. And I also need that time to get ready for school. Get ready for our first day. Yes. It sounds like my voice is hoarse. Yes. Yes, we are. On the way, on the way. doctor I can't even begin to tell you how late I am right now I'm supposed to be there now I'm so annoyed I had told Mike uh, the end of my car my car sits so it sits very very low um to the ground and so sometimes if I park too close to whatever that thing is whatever y'all call it it will tear off the bottom of my car so I told Mike that it was hanging and I'm thinking he fixed it or something and he's like okay I'm about to go to the car wash you know whatever no biggie I made since there's appointment for 11 And Mike pulls up and he's like, oh, but I got to fix the car. And it's like 1046. Time for me to be at the doctor's appointment right now. So I am hella late. I do live a little bit closer. My new house is a little bit closer to his doctor. So I'm thinking it won't take any time, really. and it won't take that much time. I would be crap out of luck if I was at my old house. My old house is further back, further away from his doctor, doctor's office. So we might, we might make it just in time. No biggie. They'll still take him anyway because he's sick. Um, So they really taught me the importance of time management and just being on your stuff, like being on your A game for real, you know, really planning things out and 
being more organized and I really I really strive to be that person I really want to be the person that is always on time or early or on time and I never want to be that person that's procrastinating or waiting until the last minute to do certain things so I don't know today I just I think I was just so fed up about this morning that I just I said enough is enough today is not you know like today is the day that this ends and I don't want to go into the school year like that and it's crazy because for school I'm always either like on time either very early or on time always and I strive to be that way in every aspect of my life, not just when I have to be, you know? So I strive to be that way. But we are on the way, y'all. I know I am chit-chatting y'all to death, but this is a chit-chat vlog, letting y'all know what is on my mind and taking y'all along with me. <laughs> Jeez. Since Sarah and I, we ended up at Sam's Club because I have to get um, some laundry detergent. We're running out. So. Bye. Bye. I was just telling my mom and my aunt how unorganized I've been feeling and they were like, yeah, because you didn't even post a hurricane prep vlog and I haven't because guys I haven't even gone through my emergency box and I usually do that every season every year to make sure that we're all you know ready just in case an emergency or anything happens I always have that stock I always have I think I probably have mentioned before that I needed to do it and I just never did but I will I will say this I did a lot of things this summer that I've never done before which was traveling and I also took two summer courses oh no yeah of course you all the clip fell but no what I was saying was I had two summer why is he stopping I had two summer courses and I was I was very busy this summer I have no idea why but it just seemed like I was very busy that's what it seemed like um so yeah, I need to make sure my household is fine. So today when I go home, I'm going to, Sincere is asking for cheeseburgers and I have nothing thought out. So I'm going to thaw out some sliders and then I'm going to, what else? I need to clean my car out. I need to clean my car out because I don't want to start school with a dirty vehicle. I already filled up my car. It's full of gas. My car has already gone through the wash, so I don't have to do that. I just need to clean the interior really well. So once I get everything settled with him, give him a snack until the meat is thawed out, I'm going to be vacuuming out my car and just making sure the house is more organized. I tend to do that when Mike is gone. He claims I throw away everything when he's not around. I don't want to throw away anything. I feel like when we moved, I pretty much got rid of all of the junk that I wanted to get rid of. But I will, for the most part, clean up and make sure I do a, a nice mini reset 
before I start my new semester. I start my new semester in three days. I have three days left of this summer vacation, guys. So that is on the agenda. I never plan these things out. They just pop into my head as I go. And that's probably why I'm so disorganized. So, I will see y'all when I see y'all. We're almost home anyway. We'll talk to you all later. I am about to do my car. I need to make sure that my... My vacuum is charged. It isn't. Great. Just great. Besides the fact that my vacuum was uncharged, it also was like 10 million degrees outside. I didn't put on sunblock and my car was the messiest it had ever been in all of the years I have owned it. I was so annoyed. I spent extra time spraying down my car mats because the water felt so good. It helped to cool me down and just cool me off and I needed more time for the vacuum to charge anyway. Okay, clearly, I was struggling to take this one apart. It was my first time taking all of the cushions off of the car seat, and honestly, I was a little nervous because I wasn't sure it could be done. I knew it would be a headache putting them back on, but it had to be done.
I am honestly so proud of myself for finally cleaning my car out and getting this all done. And it's, it's the small things for me. I put my first aid kit and poncho in the back. They stay in my car. And I didn't have a car freshener, so I just grabbed my favorite home scent and just prayed for the best, y'all. Darn napkin fell in there. But I didn't like how they came out, so I am starting them over again. This time I scrubbed everything down with that stain remover my mom had and I'm just gonna hope and pray for the best I'm restarting them now I am getting my house together I have clean dishes here dirty dishes that need to go in the washer clean dishes in here that need to be put away as well I just feel like this is a lot. I'm supposed to be resting, but I can't rest until my house is clean, until I have a clean slate. I can't sit on my tail and do other stuff until I know that my house is thick and span clean. The least I can do is at least put the dishes away, you know? That's the least I can do. I have this in the fridge. It is so cold. Oh my gosh, and so good. If you haven't tried it, this is the Strawberry Glow. It is so good, so good. But, I, um, yeah, I'm gonna get it together. I am honestly very happy I was able to get a lot done today even though it was unplanned I usually do a reset on Saturdays or Sundays but getting everything done today was even better especially because it's supposed to rain this weekend okay y'all I always cook my steak burgers with a tad bit of butter if you guys put butter on your steak then you will understand Please y'all just try it. It is delectable, okay? Sweet potato fries for the win. Better than regular fries. It's time to eat. Bon appetit. After Sincere and I ate and took a bath, I was able to put the car seat back together with no issues. And it's funny because I put it together faster than I took it apart. Anyway, I finished my day off with a nice glass of red wine and the car seat looks brand new. I will see you all next week and can't wait to show you what I have in store, especially for my first week of school. Love you all. XOXO.